Easiest way to find the item is to go to the shop. And click on furniture. In the search field type room sign. I'm going to find more information on this item. I would like to drill down to the main mesh. Always drill all the way down. Back up if you hit that page. The item's product ID is located at the top in the URL. Okay, let's load one of them. Error message. Close it. We'll try another. You can see this one hangs from the ceiling by chains. Get the room information. Dr uh, drill down. And let's see if that's it. Yep. Chair Relaxed is IMVU's item, so you don't want to use that one. Back up and go copy the item's ID and then we'll paste it in. Pay attention to the signs, texture size. 128 by 64 for this one. It's kind of small. This one is 512 by 254. That's a good size. I'm going to load another one and I'm going to add a room and use the room furniture controls to play with the location of the item. I want to see where I can put it. This one stands on the floor but doesn't do too well on a wall. You have to wiggle it around and jank it around a little. Too much work. It shouldn't have to be that difficult. I'll close it. This one has a really weird... No, I'm closing that one. It just had a really weird texture. This one looks good. This is also 512 by 264. So next we'll make the graphic. You can load this web page. I'm going to enter the size of the actual room sign. Your, your canvas loads already with a background. I'm going to start with the text. You can create numerous text fields. You are limited to how many characters can be in each field. So if you want a title, make that separate from the body. Just create another text field and start typing your rules. Caps or not, however you want to type it. You'll be able to change the text font and the color. Play around with the rooms, I'm sorry, play around with this graphic control section here and figure out what they all do. It can be kind of fun.
if you like to investigate stuff like that, that's pretty much what I like to do. <laughs> Speak English. That's a kind of a a private joke. I'll just call it that. Stay out of my chair, I always see. No sitting in the thrones. I see that a lot, so I had to put that in there. But you can, you know, obviously type whatever you want. And change the color however you'd like. You can change the font. All that stuff. How far apart the, the lines are spaced. All sorts of stuff. I got a few fonts to choose from. That's pretty good. You can't get real fancy with it, though. I mean, I don't think you can... I, I didn't play around with it enough to find out if you can add shadow and, you know, uh, texturing and stuff like that. I just... This is just basic. If you don't want to use GIMP and Photoshop, this is a real way, real easy way to do it. It's a real way, okay? <laughs> real way. Change the background. Check out the sliders, see what they do. I think I'm going to stick that white junk up on top there. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That's how I like it. That's how I roll. Okay. You can also add a room. Uh, why do I keep saying room? You can add a photo image to the background, but I'm not going to do that. But you can do it right up here in this Add Photo section. Add something right from your computer or wherever else you got the stuff. Facebook, Flickr, web. And you just upload it, and it saves it right there, and you can just drag it on over if you like it. I'm not going to add it to this, though. I'm going to leave that the way it is. But I have to I have to make a little icon catalog. Catalog icon. I always speak backwards. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to use Snippet just to capture this. Then I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go back and drop what I saved onto this one six no, it's one hundred by eighty. That's what size it is. One hundred by eighty. Or is it eighty by a hundred? Uh the catalog icon image is one hundred by eighty. And then just save that one. Trying, I'm, I know I'm running through this really fast, but I, I've been trying to keep this under 10 minutes. Saving it as a JPEG is good. Now we're ready to upload it to the catalog. You can type in the name of the item, the title you're going to give it, it's general audience item, how much markup you want. I'm just going to leave it low because I'm not even going to have this visible in the shop. This is just for an example. Just a tutorial. This is where you type in search keywords. So if someone were to si uh, search for a room sign with these typical keywords, this room sign would show up in the catalog. Right now, it's going to be listed under Furniture Picture Frames, which you see up on top. You can change that, too, but I'm not going to. So that's what it's going to cost me right there. 541 Submit to shop. We'll load a web page. Here's where you can type in the description for the web page. In order to do that, you scroll down. And these are to edit the item. Both of these will pop up the create window. This is the one we're going to use. 
This is where we can add HTML. You see some have uh, pictures on their web pages. This is where you would enter that information if you know HTML. This is where you would enter it in. I'm just typing some some meaningless words here. This is where you would enter your information though. This is not going to actually pull up an image so I'm going to get a little square with an X in it. This is just for illustration or demonstration. I'm having brain fade. It's, it's just so you can see how to do it. It's still early for me so <laughs> all day is early for me. What am I saying? <laughs> Isn't this amazing how I can type and talk? I know, I'm really talented. Okay, then you submit. And it will show what you've typed right there on the web page. There's that square. It's a broken link. It's broken because there's no picture there. So I'm going to just get rid of all that chunk. That's not going to be there. And you can also change your items image here and the cost here. And you wouldn't have to even go into create mode to do it. You can just do it right here. Any old amount you want. Yeah, let's make it yeah then you have to click that blue link to publish it notice here is not it's not visible it is hidden from the catalog that's how I wanted it Submit. Now it's going to add it to the peer review queue. And well, there we go. I'm going to open my inbox. It usually takes very little time. And you should get an email. If you don't get the email, that means it went to customer service for review. Sometimes new accounts will do that, or even older accounts that haven't submitted products to the catalog for a while. Those also go to customer service, or at least in my experience they do. And this is not my main account, and there's that email. This is not my main dev account, but I use this one sometimes. And that's it. So that's how you do a quick room sign in IMVU without GIMP or Photoshop. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, bye.